China's space ambitions are fueling collaboration and competition. China has unveiled the final key component of its space station, the latest step in the country's quest to become a leading space power, which results in competition between countries for space research. The Mengtian Laboratory module aboard a launch vehicle launched from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site on Hainan Island. Let's get to know more about the news. Stay tuned. Tiangong, Mengtian designed to conduct microgravity in low Earth orbit experiments, will be China's second addition to Tiangong this year, following July's deployment of Wenchang, a laboratory module equipped for biological research. The completion of the Tiangong main structure is a feat in itself, given that the first core module was only sent to low Earth orbit in April last year. Tiangong makes China the third country in the world, next to the U.S. and Russia, to send astronauts and build the space station. China's ambition. China has many other extraterrestrial ambitions. In the next decade, China plans to build a base on the southern edge of the moon and deploy a telescope with a field view 300 times larger than Hubble. China is also asking of collecting samples from Mars, and it would be a big achievement if this becomes successful. These missions are scheduled to take place earlier than similar deadlines set by the European Space Agency or NASA. China's progress making America worried. It is this this steady progress of China's space program that worries American politicians and senior military officials. Some believe that the U.S. is falling behind in a new space race, repetitive rhetoric reminiscent of the Cold War, with the moon once again crossing the finish line. The U.S., which is rushing to build its lunar base, is already trying to test the rocket for a two-way flight to the moon. Tiangong will not compete with a 16-module International Space Station, China said with a maximum of six modules under previous plans. But once the ISS retires after 2030, Tiangong will be the only space station in Earth orbit unless private U.S. companies like SpaceX and Tesla replace it with their own station. Quentin Parker of the Space Research Laboratory at the University of Hong Kong said Tiangong may even have prompted the U.S. decision last year to delay the decommissioning of the ISS originally planned for 2024. Competition is good, Parker says. It helps you increase productivity, you get new developments faster, and it also cuts the costs. Which is true. What do you think about his opinions? Cooperation with other countries. In the January white paper, China emphasized peaceful cooperation with international partners in the field of space science and management. However, some worry that working with China will strengthen its military. A recent report by the Center for Strategic and International Studies claims that Beijing could use data from ground stations in South America, a key part of China's space infrastructure for surveillance. The space race also has military dimension, the AP reported, citing U.S. intelligence agencies as saying earlier this year. Beijing is working to match or exceed U.S. capabilities in space for military, economic, and prestige gains space leadership. Since 2004, China and ESA has been sharing data collected by Chinese and European satellites to advance Earth science research. Carl Bergvist, the administrator of ESA's Department of International Affairs, said that the agency did not see why it shouldn't cooperate with China, given that the data exchange was not for military use but for science. What do you guys think? A new space race and a new space age. So far, only white people have landed on the moon. The Artemis program will land the first person of color and the first woman on the moon. Unlike before, it's not just about defeating other superpowers and reaching outer space and the moon, but also going further into space. However, China's emergence as a space station and overlapping goals with those of the United States have created a sense of competition that is expected to develop into a new space race. Moon mining could be the next source of tension between countries, as NASA is also exploring the lunar south pole where China plans to build a joint research station with Russia. U.S. leaders have highlighted the challenges posed by China, noting that the United States is not the undisputed leader in space. Aaron Baton said the moon program signals that space will become a competitive arena on the prestige front, demonstrating advanced technical knowledge and expertise and then on the military front as well. The AP reported that a research group commissioned by the Pentagon last month claimed that China is on the track to overtake the U.S. as the dominant space power by 2045. China is showing a massive progress in space research and that's what is making China a space power. Today, however, China is a generation behind the United States in its space missions, but it catches up fast. While the United States is ready to launch Artemis 1 and is already in advanced stages of Artemis 2 and 3, 
China has just approved three of its missions. The United States continues to have the upper hand for now. However, these benefits depend entirely on the success of Artemis 1, whose launch has been canceled twice in the past two weeks. What do you guys think? Will China overtake the U.S. in terms of space power? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.